Hey guys, Paxton, welcome back to another podcast. I am here with that green man. Um, Say hello. Have. Yeah, this is a different channel, by the way. Um, our other podcast, our other podcasts were on another channel, and you know, I just want to combine one channel. Okay, I want to focus on one channel. I still want to do podcasts, so yeah, say, here we are. How many channels do you have? I have, I have, I have two. Technically, two on this account. Okay. I feel like that's <laughs> yeah on that account. You're like Anyways. That um, if you saw the title, we're going to be reviewing, um, we're basically going to be going over like a l some lists and stuff like shows that you, like people want to come back, like cartoon shows and stuff like that. Um, we're just yeah. going to be talking about it on the screen right now. You know, I have it all nice and planned out. Um, I have some, I think gun, not gunfight, I have some Warzone gameplay up there. Um, I got close in that first game, okay? I went try hard, it was 2 a.m. and my hands were sweating. So, um, yeah. Anyways, yeah, um... Let's get right into it. So as you can see from the thumbnail, that is not clickbait. Mystery Incorporated Live Action is coming out this this year, I think. Well, There's I no think release. So hmm? Well, I think it's sort of cl clickbait because it's not like a normal release. It's more of like a YouTube, not fan channel. But it's, but like, it's, it's still coming back in some form, okay? It is still live action Mystery Incorporated. Yeah, you, you haven't seen a happen. thumbnail yet. You haven't seen a thumbnail yet. I mean, I haven't made it yet, but I'm I'm pretty sure it looks good. Hey, hey, we're ta we're it's, we're doing that YouTuber thing where we talk about something in the future. Yes, this show uh, is amazing. Way. Okay, <laughs> don't quote me on that if it uh, somehow sucks. My prediction: it's gonna be okay. All right. So if you guys haven't found out yet, um, I'm gonna put the link in the description to the channel. Basically, there's gonna be a, I think it's, yeah, it's fan made, um, fan made, Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated yeah. live action show. It's called Mystery Incorporated. Well, this that. Apparently, apparently, from what we can tell, it's fan made, but it's made by like a company or a studio. Yeah. So it, it, they're backed up. Um. So there's gonna be twelve so episodes. Um. There's no, there's no release date yet. Them. What? No, like so, they're not just like a YouTuber making a show. They're like actually a studio or a company, just not the official. Yeah, one. they're gonna. Fan. They're gonna have. I feel like they're gonna have like um, like a YouTube original content, like budget, budget wise. Like it's not. They're not part of YouTube Originals or whatever it's called now. Yeah. But like, they're in the same they budget. Shouldn't be, they shouldn't be as rich as like a broadcasting service or something. Yeah, people already kind of hate it because it looks like Riverdale, but yeah, I'm kind of skeptical, man. I don't think it's going to be like I, I Riverdale. Like any live action show looks like Riverdale, sort of. It yeah, it, it looks like Riverdale, but I don't think it's going to be like Riverdale, okay? Yeah. No, because it has the same premise as Riverdale, you know, like a small town and it's like it has a horrible backstory and past. I so, guess, but that's yeah. how a lot of shows. Well, the one that comes to mind is Riverdale, yeah. at least recently. Because everyone hates that I show. Mean, that's from like this mystery part of it. I mean, Arrow technically is a show about a city rough past. Hey, well, Arrow has he's a he's a he's a vigilante, okay. Yeah. And there and is Scooby vigilante. Doo and the, the gang don't series. follow laws, so. Yeah. And the kind of vigilante. I mean, it looks good. I mean, these another, the the makers are fans, that. okay. That's what I, from I would have heard. These guys are like big fans. Yeah. From what, from what I or I never realized it, but I guess they are technically sort of vigilantes. What? They don't like abide by the law. The Scooby Doo gang. Well, like, the law like, doesn't really like, disrupt them. Like the the like no cop has like been like oh well well. That's why because the <laughs> they same, have they actually don't, they don't really call the cops. No no the remember the the no the Mystery Inc. um that cartoon there was one cop yeah. that hated him I forgot his name but that guy is an amazing yeah. voice actor. Yeah, that one was the one that like where they because that show was a good show because it started to point out a lot of things in Scooby Doo and stuff. <laughs> they better so, bring yeah, that guy that was, back in this show, like, some form. Yeah, I think they were trying to point out how like they are vigilante sort of for like no cop yeah. apparently cares. From the trailer, this seems a lot like the cartoon, but it's not. In, it's not in Crystal Cove anymore. It's in Coolsville. You know, coming back to Coolsville. Yeah. Well, also specifically, it seems to be drawing a lot from like the the Mystery Inc. show. Yeah, and like, no, it comes from a lot of Scooby Doo's. Like the Hex Girls well, are back. Well, that's why, like, it obviously mentions all of them, but like the idea of like a small town that has like a mystery, and then they focus on that town and all the characters. Like that's more mystery. Yeah, the cartoon. Except, yeah, because all the old Scooby Doo. Oh more yeah, dude. Was like a if you thing. if you guys haven't watched a cartoon yet, the Mystery Inc. cartoon, you should watch it. Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated. 
It came out like I think like 2011 around that time. It's an amazing show. <laughs> like it's probably the people have already made videos of this on YouTube. It's one of the best Scooby Doo shows ever made. Um, yeah, I love the backstory of like everyone and the town's past, and this it feels oh man, yeah, it feels like I mean, a mystery. That, like <laughs> so, they have like Mister E. Mister, yeah, there's a guy named Mister E. Freaking, he looks like there. John Tron in his late forties. And, and then and then he sent. Well, that was sort of a spoiler. Yeah. And then he sends like what's it called? He sends like cryptic messages and even oh, voice. Per- Wait, what, what, there's a there's a there's a um, <laughs> I, I the bird misty yeah what's I almost the bird's said name misty knight. yeah i almost said misty knight but who's that person that like helps out the scooby-doo gang like the dj person sort of <laughs> i i should remember i watched the sh- i rewatched the show like last year yeah because she's like that person that owns like the radio professor so. pericles is a okay should we yeah uh, the bird is- that guy's amazing yeah, and then also I like the idea how like I don't remember exactly. Oh, I okay. The 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 DJ girl is Angel Dynamite. That's her name. It's like oh, yeah, Cassidy Williams, I believe. Yeah. That's her name. I I almost hit, or I said Misty Knight because I was picturing like a similar. Oh, they're similar. But anyway, uh, I forgot because I haven't watched it in a while, so I don't know exactly. Also, we shall put like a, not a spoiler warning. I mean, we are talking about stuff in the show. Anyway, no, but, it's like, okay. I, we haven't I, said that many spoilers so far. Okay. Well, I, I'm about to say sort of one. All right, spoiler warning is, right here. All I'm just going to say it. it. Spoiler. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, three, two, one. Didn't they do a thing where, like, the old or the Mystery Incorporated group was, like, a rein, not reincarnation, maybe <laughs> it is, but, like, of the old Mystery Incorporated group? They were all, like... Oh, yeah, the like, original, original, like, the... That's why, yeah. The Conquistadors, like, remember, yeah. Was it an actual reincarnation, or is it just, Aztec. like... Similar. They're no, similar because the first one was like all good and like apparently like all the yeah. other ones were corrupt in some form. Yeah, but I mean like wasn't there like the main like the old like the previous Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated gang literally had like the parrot and then the like smoker. Yeah, yeah. But those were like so evil people. Because you know. yeah, they had a curse, remember? Like, the town had a curse. That's why, yeah, the curse and then the whole thing. It's been a while, but I remember. Why yeah, I if, that if they managed to do that. Like Scooby Doo. If they managed to do that in this show, that would that'd be cra- crazy. Yeah. I was like, this isn't Scooby-Doo. Ooh. This feels a little R- RL st- not RL sign. HP Lovecraft. Seems I, I like liked it, though. Okay. Mystery no, Incorporated. I, I mystery. liked it, but that's why. Because when you watch Scooby-Doo, you expect just oh. like, oh, bad guy. Move on to the next one. Oh, yeah. And by the way, it's- this show... Um, okay, this is not spoilers anymore, but this upcoming show... Dude... It's basically a modern Scooby Doo. So like they have all like new redesigns. Um, I don't know if Eric, Eric, are you fond of the redesigns? Well, I mean they try their best. Yeah, they went for a modern look because like if you look you're at the about- original Scooby Doo, like that's more of like sixties, seventies yeah. look. You're talking about the entire. YouTube one. Yeah. Because yeah, that one like <laughs> I mean they can't do like Scooby Doo, so they have to I mean, like try their best. Like because well, it's a live versus like a what's it called versus a animated show. Yeah, so yeah, they, they can't do that. They oh, can't find man. a bit like Shaggy. I like Shaggy. I remember on the trailer, there was one scene. It's, I don't know why this is so funny for me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Shaggy like walking down the street, hiding from the cops, and like he he like hides a gun. He conceals a gun inside his like in his uh jacket, kind of like. <laughs> I don't know why that's so oh. funny. Oh, and the last scene in the trailer, basically, um, like they're like opening up like for like the the mystery machine. And Shaggy was like, all right, Fred, I want you to drive. Like, I'm too baked right now. And the thought of Shaggy being high is just something I never thought of, really. Well, I should have thought well, of it, I, but... No, because yeah. that's why I think they're doing that, because everyone thinks Shaggy's high, because it's the whole joke <laughs> and point. Finally, he embraced it, man. Like, he's a, yeah, he was a junkie. Everyone keeps pointing out, like, isn't Shaggy high? Because, like, people keep joking about how, like, he wears green. He's, like, a hippie. He always Every time I see him now, like, man, that guy's probably high. <laughs> like, he has the munchy sort of... Like, talks I can't do that. Oh, so man. everyone's poking fun that isn't Shaggy High, and now I think they're just gonna be like, "Yeah, in our heads, he is." <laughs> oh man, that's why he's always scared, man. Like it's a, it's kind of like a yeah. side effect of the drugs. Maybe his Scooby snacks. Are it raises it. Scooby it raises his anxiety. Oh yeah, <laughs> Scooby snacks are actually edibles. Yeah, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's the secret. Maybe that's why he likes them so much, and that's why every time he eats them, he does whatever like he needs to. Yeah, to give him the strength. 
<laughs> oh man all right so yeah that's mystery incorporated we don't know when it's coming out yet i don't it probably says in the channel sometime soon but as of in imdb it just says 2020 there's no really release date that says it over here yeah. wait just sometime try this year. IMDb? Hmm? yeah it's a youtube thing but it's on imdb it's a show it's a t yeah well, I mean, it is, but isn't it on YouTube? I'm I feel like you can put anything on IMDb, to be honest. Uh, get Freddy got fingers yeah, in here. Yeah, aren't there like a lot of YouTube originals on IMDb? Oh, shit. Okay. I don't know why I looked this up. Okay. And, um, worst decision ever made. All right. So, this is. We've been talking for like 20 minutes about Scooby Doo. Oh, my God. IMDb was launched in 1990. Hmm. I mean, it's a website. So I guess it started out in that website or internet. That's like old. Nin 19, wait, 1919 or 1990? 1990. I don't think anything oh, was... What do you mean old? It's not that old. 1990? I mean, that's pretty old for a U or for a ch website that's still up. And like oh, yeah. Really I mean, if it had some, if it had some like magazine pass before that and... Yeah, like yeah. most websites, they die out. Like, ask Jeeves. All right, all right. Anyways, um... We're done talking about Scooby Doo. It took a long time. Um, if you guys clicked on that video for that, then there, there yeah. you go. We talked about it. Check out the channel well, if you want, and subscribe and like well, both channels. Well, Find in that. To be fair, it's short. It's it's sort of a thing we just found out of the blue. Yeah. So like, okay. Yeah. We were. It was like a week ago. We were just like on Discord, and I was like, "You're like, wait a minute, live action Scooby Doo." I didn't even yeah, know that. I remember, I literally just like scanned YouTube for a while and I saw that. And I was yeah, like, no, we were looking for like nostalgic, like childhood songs, just like, because we were not, why not? And we found that. Yeah, and I was like, isn't this a movie or something? And then I also, and okay, this is out of nowhere, but Addison, if you're watching this for some reason, I mean, you're supposed to be in this call, man, okay? Oh, no. You had a lot to say. Okay, I'm pretty I'm sure you had a lot to say. Man. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, we're done talking about Scooby Doo, and let's right now we're actually gonna read a list um, in CBR. So basically, it's eight classic cartoons that deserve a revival, and seven that do not. Um, after yeah. this, if you have more time, I'm probably I have a list of my own, like just five uh, cartoons I want to come back. That's yeah, five or six. Well, because we're, we're kind of what's it called? We're kind of inspired by that or inspired by the scooby-doo thing to like think about shows that should come back and all that stuff yeah it's about time like, man 2020 good time streaming service and everything like yeah honestly before like i remember watching a video like six years ago like they're talking about like reboots and people said like oh that's very unlikely but nowadays it's like reboots are very likely to happen yeah it's huge well because young the, justice the only issue was a lot Star of time or a lot of the things now is that are the <laughs> the issue now with like reboots and stuff is that people think it's just going to be used for like marketing and like bringing back nostalgia and mm. they're going to use that to help yeah. stuff. That's what they did kind of with Star Wars. Like the first, yeah. okay, don't get me wrong. The last series of Star Wars, I'd say it was a mix, good, bad. Um, The ending yeah. was amazing, but the beginning was like, I don't really care about those characters, not going to lie. Just like marketing. I saw it as marketing, to be fair. Well, yeah, because like I feel like that could still work is as, as long as they actually make the show and thing good, <laughs> then all that stuff can yeah. still apply. Like it would be a win-win for everyone. Like Young they Justice, just Young Justice season three, people hated it, but it was it was mediocre. I, it was alright. Not gonna lie. Mm. People still wanted it back though. Like there's no doubt yeah. that people wanted to come back. So there you go. Wasn't that bad? All right, let's get to the list. Um, you want to alternate or just. Maybe. All Maybe. I, know is, I don't know. I just got sidetracked, but I don't think this would work. But do you think a GTA show could work? GTA? Like, Ooh. or would that just be like a... You want to ask for another list? Top <laughs> top 10 um, video games that serve like a movie or a TV show. Yeah. Because Skyrim is definitely up there for me. For, like, no, yeah, TV GTA? Show. Like, that's... That's why, because I was thinking about it, I was like, I mean, that could work, but it could just be like those crime shows. Or yeah, like, like Breaking just... Bad. It can be like on that oh. level. Yeah. Which that, people that will be down be to see. Because they literally made The Witcher, so video games are still like starting to become movies. Yeah. Or movies Call or of shows. Duty. Call of Duty. Yeah. Make that work. Yeah, like that could work. Call of Duty a is a good storyline. I would love to see yeah. as a as now, a movie. Now, now, 
now we know our next topic. Yeah, that's probably our next topic. Okay, reading the list. Um, let's just get right into it. Um, I already looked the list. Not gonna lie, I vaguely remember most of these shows. Well, I looked at some of the list. These are classic shows from like '90s, and some of them I know. Let's just get right into it. Number fifteen is Freakazoid. Freakazoid it says revive Freakazoid. Um, Animaniacs is already set to come back with new episodes in 2020 on Hulu. Should it prove successful, perhaps Warner Brothers sh- should back one on Steven Spielberg and Mark Ruger's other creation, Freakazoid. Airing for two seasons on Kids WB from 1995 to 1997, Freakazoid wasn't a hit on the level of Animaniacs, but it's a show which might do better today than it did in the 90s. Um... All right, Eric, do you know anything about Freakazoid? Well, all I know is it was a weird show, if I remember it correctly. It was, it, a lot of shows in the 90s kind of did like that weird Deadpool thing. They always made it like self-aware and jokey and yeah. crazy and stuff. So. Mm, I don't I mean, really remember that many shows from the 90s. Well, what I remember it was just each episode was different adventure. Like just he decides to do something. So it's kind of just like that, if mm. I remember correctly. Like, it's one of those episodic shows where it's just he did something each episode. Yeah, right. and it, but you remember Animaniacs. Yeah. Well, that's why Animaniacs was similar, but they also had, like, songs and skits, and, like, there were three of them, so it added a different element of that and stuff and all that to the... Well, Freakazoid, I think it was just his show. Well, I'm just reading this in the trending. Justice, League's, uh, Justice League Odyssey just killed off DC's deadliest bat... Deadly is Batman. Oh, what? No. Oh, wait. I haven't caught up to that yet. <laughs> I'm reading that comic. Okay, then. Oh. When was that? Uh, I can't. Oh, that's why, because I zoomed in. I was gonna say, wait, I can't wait. Read did it. the comics return now? Are the comics back? Probably. I mean, it, if that says it. Because they had a huge, like, they had like a month long hiatus. I mean, wait, are our, trending, are our trending nows different? Because I have one that says Justice League just confirmed this best leader isn't one of the DC's trinity. Um, Marsh Manhunter? W- which one is it? I don't know. No, it's on trending now. I, unless I click it, I won't. It's actually, it's actually Guy Gardner. Actually, you're not screwed. I'm not click it. It's going to be a side <laughs> Just to say quickly, what, who is it? This is so laggy. Uh... I don't think comics are returning oh, yet. Come on. The following contains spoilers for Justice League number 44 by Rob Fidenti or Robert Dent. Available now. What is it? Who? Who is it? We need to know. It doesn't say yet. I gotta keep reading. All right, Eric, you're just going to keep on reading that. I'm going to read this right now. No, apparently... Oh, it takes a while. keep scrolling to continue reading. What? Oh, my what God. It's like a clickbait. The... Like a whole essay. You just need to read one one word, oh, one I name. Know, it's hell. It literally says it like switches, sort of. But apparently, it's either Jon Stewart... Actually, no, it uh, apparently is Jon Stewart. Oh, okay. Well, then you want to see more of Jon Stewart, man. You know, in Justice League Dark, he just got annihilated by like lava I mean, they did they yeah well they literally did describe like because john stewart is basically a leader already so it makes sense to just make him a leader yeah i guess i, I mean, don't really see him that much aside from like dcau if if they do this good enough and he becomes popular enough maybe john stewart will become john diggle or maybe john diggle yeah john, john diggle man you know people- i still you hate really that like idea, that. but even though they had the point. same backstory, the same father, and the same kind of like background history, sort of. But, yeah. but it's not so more like John Diggles his own thing, and then John Diggles again. He just doesn't fit as a Green Lantern, unless. But well, he has the exact same story as John Stewart. If they, if they make him John, yeah, because he was inspired by it, only because people kept pointing out similarities. But because right, like right, unless right. they what's it called, unless they make him like. Have what basically they would have to make him like all confused a lot of the time, like in terms of like, oh, going into space, fighting superhumans, aliens. Like, John Diggle is the most grounded human earth guy, just protect just, earth, 
he's not again like the whole running joke of every time he saw the flash he kept being like you're fast and then like every time he gets transported by the flash all right throws, okay like, he's we're not getting, a we're getting, we're natural getting. human guy we're getting very sidetracked from here we're gonna talk about dcau okay. later on anyways john stewart's kind of similar to cap america in certain ways or like he's just he's always okay. john stewart or okay john Diggle. Ah. okay we gotta get back all right Number 14 out of 15, by the way. Um, don't revive Ren and Stimpy. That's what this guy is saying. So for a while, there were rumors of John... All right, here we go. Crick Falusi was preparing a new Ren and Stimpy short film to premiere before the third SpongeBob and SquarePants movie in 2019. Oh, shit. What the heck? What happened? Wait a minute. Hello? Justice League Odyssey just killed off the DC's deadliest Batman. Oh, now I see it. Wait, my mod just turned off. Wait, wait. Technical difficulties. Oh. All right. This is going to be risky, okay? okay? We're doing this on podcast right now. I'm going to unplug my monitor and I'm going to replug it in, okay? This could crash everything. This could. Uh, my hands could explode from my PC. That makes I'm doing this on my Okay, phone. That, I worded that weirdly. Anyway, I'm going in. That's what I'm saying. I'm going in. I might I'm lose my sorry. arms. Here we go. Apparently, John K. groomed underage girls. So, apparently, that's what he did. And uh, yeah, now it's. All right, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I don't, I don't want him to make the show. I almost died. I almost died right there. Not going to lie. I felt it. All right, we're back. I don't know what happened. My monitor just turned off. Okay. Where, where were we? Where were we? Where were we? All right. So, I'm, oh yeah, I was talking about Ren and Stimpy. Um, so that project's definitely not going to happen now. We should. The last time John K returned to Ren and Stimpy with the adult party cartoon was reason enough to be skeptical of any future revivals. Um, basically saying that it, it, is, it won't happen because I think the 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 director, like the main author, left. Yeah, and he was charged with sexual assault. Oh, or at least he groomed underage girls. Yeah, if well, he just keep uh, reading. Man, that's what happens? You know, you you look at Ren and Stimpy, and you're like, what are, what are the creators doing? You well, because that show was very like sexy, sort of. I think it was okay. I don't really uh, remember it that much, but I just remember <laughs> it being crazy. Like. Holy shit. I forgot who's I forgot who's Ren or in, like who's Stimpy, but one of them was like drinking. Oh think... no! Okay, the one I thought was okay. It was a lot. It, the one I was thinking of was Pinky and the Brain. No, that show was good yeah, too. Brain was wholesome. Ren and Stimpy was like this freaking like they're teen, on drugs. Teen like, humor. I'm just looking at the guy's eyes right now. It's like man, that guy's on and something. All my- so yeah, so it makes sense. Like from what I remember the show, it makes sense that the creator ends, ends up. Oh no! I mean, I guess. All right, number well, thirteen let's, is. Let's hope what he got. Like, let's hope he got what he deserved. Yeah, but it was a good show, as far as I know. Well, Ren and Snippy was one of the shows where it was good, but it also was just like it was just kind of not silly, but. It's disturbing. Yeah, it didn't really have a purpose. Same just, thing. Just, I mean, if you look at shows like um, Beavis and Butthead, same boat. That's what. Yeah. So a lot of those, like a lot of those. It was the nineties, like, okay. Funny and like humor, or like funny and like nostalgia. But if you really analyze the show, not a lot happens. It's no moral value. I think at this point, people are starting to realize that, like SpongeBob and stuff, where it's like it, it's sort of funny still, but at this point, it's not just like. Yeah, just, I guess. Kind of no, Sponge- the thing about SpongeBob is that the quality has dropped. You know, that's I heard, well, I heard being, Patrick is like basically an asshole now, and Squidward just being milk, it's Squidward. being milk dry at this point, We're running out of ideas, which makes sense. Yeah, that's true. Well, it's you make a show where each episode has plot and like jokes and stuff, you and the characters have to be likable. Then again, yeah, Patrick, I heard he's an asshole now, basically. Yeah. Squidward is like a, he's a victim. Like before, like he got what he did. It was karma. But uh, from what I've heard now, is like it's just like he's getting beat up for no reason. Like give him a break. Oh, Come on. I never even liked like SpongeBob the character. And anyway. yeah, it was all about because it's all about Gary. You know, see that SpongeBob guy? the character started off okay, but 
times where you analyze them and you're like, oh, like actually annoying. He, mm. uh, it was supposed to be yeah. like that. All right, he all right, Gary all right. Or get back to the list. Get back to the list. That's when he abused Gary. Get back to the list. Okay. Did just, or did Gary just run away for no reason? I don't no, know. no. Gary went to Patrick once. I, I don't know because cookie. He had a cookie in his like pants. Well, also I remember then one time like SpongeBob yelled at Gary and then Gary left and then SpongeBob crying and like singing that song and stuff. It reminds me of a uh, Mickey yeah, Mouse shot, cartoon. Oh yeah, and then didn't he like try to get Larry? Okay, 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 you can talk about your Larry all the time, but we gotta get back. SpongeBob was weird. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, Larry the Lobster was cool. All right, cool get back to the list. Get back to the list. Okay. Well, okay. I don't know this one. I don't know this one either, but we're gonna talk about it. So it says Revive Thundar. Thundar with two R's, by the way. The Barbarian. I, I barely recognize the girl. And that's like, I may, I may be mistaking her for someone. It looks a lot like. He Man? That's why it looks vibe. a lot like kind so, of So, many of the best remakes come from the greatest ideas which weren't executed so well the first time around. Thunder the Barbarian is an excellent example of such an idea. This post apocalyptic action show was an impression on the 80s kids with it was an impression on the 80s kids with its imagination. Comic book geniuses even such as Steve Gerber, Alex Sloth and even Alex Sloth, Alex Toth and even Jack Kirby worked on it. Still, it was a kids cartoons in the eighty kids cartoon in the eighties, and the show itself hasn't aged well as people's childhood memories of it. As people's childhood, okay. Um, Mixed Thunder like an new- ideal candidate for a new version, which is awesome, as many people remember orig- <laughs> the original. Um, then again, yeah, I don't really remember this. It was an eighties show. I only watched couple of 80s shows like G.I. Joe and Super Mario Brothers Super Show. So I wasn't really exposed to this. I don't know. Well, this one just didn't seem as popular. Yeah. So... Not a lot of people talk about it. If you guys want this, then go for it. You don't really remember it. The people who watch this are probably old. They're like, not gonna, like, no offense, but you're probably like 40s or like mid-30s right now. I have sworn there was a new kind of show or something. Hmm. See, that's a good idea, but it says revive. I guess go for it. You know, most people don't even know it. Like we were born in the early two thousand, then we don't know it. So, yeah. I mean, if you do well, sure. Number twelve it says don't revive the Bruce Tim DCAU. But why, you ask? Would you not want more Bruce Bruce Tim's DCAU? It's a fair question. There hasn't been a run of superhero cartoons as impressive as Bruce Timm's run on Batman the Animated Series to Justice League Unlimited. It was sad when J- 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 JLU ended, and theoretically that series is, in particular could have lasted forever. Given all the odds, given all the odd corners of DC Universe, it had freedom to explore. Um, so mainly because Bruce Timm... Okay, so why wouldn't you want more of a good thing? Mainly because Bruce Timm's last attempt to give us more of that good thing was embarrassingly bad. It was retroactively declared non-canonical. Um, the movie Batman Harley, the movie Batman and Harley Quinn was this first writing credit. I've never watched that actually. I've seen a few scenes, but yeah. um, the classic new Batman adventures designs were back, but none of the storytelling skill was. What went wrong? This is conjecture, but it doesn't seem as if. Bruce Tim is less interested in still doing DC cartoons and might be better served working on new projects. He stepped down from the from overseeing DC animated movies in 2013, presumably in hopes of finding work on other projects, but with no such luck. He had he got dropped um he basically got dropped back then. A chance to do Thunder or any other number of other projects might do wonders for his creativity. So yeah, um Eric, you watched the show, right? I mean, yeah. Um, but yeah, I've I seen it, but to be fair, I wasn't really a fan of it when it like I never really watched it. Um, I was more well, of a guy who just watched like I I remember watch I've I've seen this in the Saturday morning cartoons, and because I think I just watch I mostly just watched um, Dragon Ball, 
Dragon Ball Z. I don't know. I feel like this was because it was a good the like, two show and shows, but I think it's more so like it doesn't have much competition. What do you mean? Like I don't think like are there other good TV animated or animated like DC shows? Mm, Can't think. Well, aside from like just... Uh, just from the obvious ones, but not like I don't know. I feel like. Because, like, the whole Batman animated series thingy, everyone talks about how good it was, but I think it's because there's not, like, that many good animated Batman TV shows. That's the only one that comes... There's no... You're saying there's no Batman animated TV shows. I can list, like, two right now, and one of them is, like, oh, your favorite, apparently. Well, yeah, I said good ones. Yeah, like... It the Batman? Batman Brave and the Bold? So, Batman was good, but it wasn't, like... It was sort of different. It was more of, like, if you if you like different... Then yeah, because like it didn't even have bat like bat didn't have a weird relationship with like Batman and Renee Montoya or something. And also, I don't remember like, all that stuff and the Joker. People said like, oh yeah, Joker's like he looked like a beast. That was different different. and Mister Freeze had ice powers instead of just having an ice gun. Mm, it's like Commander Cold. Like okay. I do personally like that show a lot. And actually. One of my favorite Batman movies, like animated movies, was the whole Batman versus Dracula thing. The Batman versus Dracula. Yeah, and also from what I've heard, of the ending of DCAU, it was it was a good ending. Like it was fitting. Yeah. People love that. And Batman show. Beyond was pretty good. I like Batman. Beyond. Yeah, Batman Beyond. If you want to reboot like any show, shows. well, okay, like, both Batman the animated series and Batman Beyond, they all have like a continuation to comics. Yeah. And then also one of like the most iconic scenes was like the whole Superman's car speech. Like him reaching for the car, pulling it up. No, like the one where he's like, "Oh, I live. I feel like I'm in a world of car, and I have to be careful not to break anything." And then he's like, "But you can take it." And he punches Dark right. Side too. I don't remember that. Uh, it was um, the fi- it was the Dark Side fight, and Superman finally got to let loose. So then he gave his famous speech of like, "I feel." Well, a cardboard. Always mm-hmm. careful not break anything. So, like You're it's very famous talk about scene. Mm. Probably because people like it when Superman gets to go all. Yeah, I guess. Um, I feel, yeah, I don't I think know, they should make DCAU, like, but if they want to continue Batman TAS and Batman Beyond, they go for that. Like they have comics already coming out. It's kind of like um, what they did with Star Wars: The Clone Wars. Like before the. They made the last season. They had books depicting what happened in the last yeah. season, and it like yeah, why not? If if the if people love the comic book, then I would. I don't think people would mind to see yeah, it adapted. All I, know is I, I like in the that series, show, or I like all the shows, and also I think that like the Justice League show was what made uh, what's his, John Stewart as popular as he is, because I'm pretty sure usually Kyle Rayner. Or how Jordan or the popular opinions. Yeah, it shifts popular opinions. And then now John Stewart's like among them only like, because yeah. of the actual show. At this time is what probably like the flash you would think of at this time is Wally West. But nowadays like it's just Barry Allen. Like I grew up thinking about Barry, Barry Allen. Yeah. Well, because Wally West literally died for a certain point. Or not died, but literally vanished. No, but like point. in this show, it's Wally West. So Oh yeah, well in this that show, thing also. Yeah. I'm talking about the comics in general. He just vanished. Oh, you Barry Allen? Wait, what? No, well, Wally was. Hmm. Like, because Barry Allen died. But he did come back eventually. But then, like, he I just vanished. realized, how do those Wally West fans feel? Because, like, before the whole Wally West was brought back, he literally did just vanish. Like, he just, all of a sudden, you know, there's a black Wally West, and he's, like, a young Wally West. Hmm. Yeah, I don't Like, know now we have the original, that. like, redhead Wally West. We have but both. How do fans of Wally West feel that he vanished? That how do comments? fans of Wally West feel right now? Put it in the comments down there. What do well, you now, guys now think? He, now he's back. Now he's doing yeah, cool. but the way they like change his character up. How do you feel about that? Feel, I mean, I think didn't they should give him offended? like sort of PTSD things where he has like issues? No, they basically okay. They they had a comic called Flash Forward, and that was basically the last. That was basically Arrow season eight. Like it, yeah, well, yeah, everything. All I know. So, so yeah, he's sort of, or he's not sort of. He is back. So yeah. All right, Good we're on. going way too slow. I actually well, have to have, slow, have to do something because... in like thirty minutes. Okay, well, okay number eleven. Happened. Number eleven. Eric, read it. Number eleven. When we're doing, we're we're progress. 
All right, number 11. Number 11. Okay, number 11 is Courage the Cowardly Dog. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. It says Revive, which I agree. Because I like Courage. I miss Courage. Okay, the one problem I like I have about like, all these shows coming back is just like their management, okay? You know, they've tried bringing back Powerpuff Girls. Like, if it was like 2011, like before all they did all the reboots, I would say, yeah, go bring back Powerpuff Girls. But well, they've done it <laughs> and it wasn't that good. Like, the- Well, that's why. Because a lot of it is just more like they're doing it for nostalgia and marketing. No, because people, okay, nowadays, bring the show back, then people hate the humor nowadays. Works. Like, it's just all childish. Like, Teen Titans Go is it? Well, sort of. Yeah, see, that one was more uh, marketing and appealing to the kids to sell toys. Yeah, exactly. But if they actually make a show to make the show, like, good, okay. then it could work out. It's like, that's what, Disney, Sam, that what, that's what happened to Samurai Jack, because people said the, like, reboot of Samurai Jack might be sort of better than the original Samurai Jack. Yeah, but the humor nowadays, I just I just hate it. Especially Disney humor, like, the ones you see in the new Star Wars movies, and well, even depends. in Clone Wars, there's there's Disney like, humor. Again, because like, uh, those are marketed towards kids. To yes, sell but it's like, so dumb, I hate it. But if you just actually, like, make a good show. Because there's like, okay, there's okay, great. Right, there's one scene where Anakin Skywalker stabs a guy, and, like, you thought it was going to be, like, like, oh, he's killed this guy. This is a big moment. But, like, they all played off, like, as a joke. Like, they, they no, kill the guy. The guy falls and dies. And he's like, oh. That's oh. why. Because then he's kids would be like, Anakin's evil. They yes, can't okay. sell Anakin to This is what I hate, man. No, that's, it's like. That's the issue. Basically, um, again, if they make the show just to, like, nostalgia and just the market, yes, then it's but going to be bad. It doesn't mean it has They're to be all. Okay. It doesn't again, have. Samuel it doesn't mean it has. Well, then again, yeah. I don't know. I don't know that. who made the reboot of Samurai Jack or like what studio did it, but Samurai Jack's a great example because Samurai Jack was good. Like, I get like, it, like the they want to do it for marketing, but still, come on. And Samurai Jack, I don't think they did marketing <sighs> too much because there's not much to market except for maybe like, bearded Samurai Jack. Two thirds of the last a season of Star Wars was aimed for kids. The the last one, like it shifted, like okay, these are for diehard fans who actually care about Star Wars. It's like you put up like, with I that. Feel like- this is. This is it. This is for you. I feel like merchandising is the issue. Yes, exactly. That's, that's what I why hate. Spaceballs Just poke fun. Don't at. care about that, man. That's you why back Star Wars is like, oh, you think that's the real force in the <sighs> universe? No, it's merchandise. Yeah, the reason why, um, like, this is a rumor. I don't really know if it's true or not. But the reason why Young Justice failed back in the day is because the merchandising. You know, they aimed it for like people who watched it were mostly teens and like that. So k- kids wouldn't really buy it's it, like child children. You didn't want well, to buy merchandise. Why people saying Pokemon's bad. That's why it's all, they it's all kids, use it to merchandise. That's what I hate. I hate the humor. It's just, uh, I feel well, old. I, I like, I like humor when it's like, what's it called? Again, not for merchandising. Like when they try to make it so that kids, for sure. Like, because the art, like, is there some kids shows that like all, like adult humor, like jabs and, like that's fine. Hmm. But again, it all depends on like what the show's for. There are yeah, but shows that, that's Star Wars, okay? <laughs> that that is Star Wars. Like that's just facts. Like who cares, Disney? Like, you make a lot of. You already make too much money, and Star Wars like, and everything. Sure just give us this. Look at a, yeah, because I'm pretty sure you can look at a show and tell if it's for like merchandising. Or yes, if but it's Star actually, Wars, man, it's Star Wars. Like, Who watches Avengers Star Wars? Time, mostly kids like, or mostly Avengers adults. Time looked kid friendly and stuff, but it was just like to make a good show. It wasn't just for merchandise. Yeah, that's what I love when it's not like a corporate yeah, like fun. pushing stuff in. And then, uh. like that's why some shows that like got bad once it got popular. Because once it got popular, it just became more about merchandising and. So yeah, um, honestly, Products. if they don't if they don't do like some corporate BS, they force stuff in Courage. Yeah, I'm I'm down for that, man. I mean, I I love the original <laughs> Courage the Cowardly Dog show. Because I, I think Courage would work because there's nothing to really merchandise it except for Courage himself, which yeah I think already happened. Honestly, the I atmosphere else, too, the atmosphere of the show to. being trapped in like the middle of nowhere, like it just sets the think, atmosphere and like the horror. Yeah, I don't think of. anyone wants like a plush toy of Eustace. Just beat him up. You're like, like, everyone just hates. Oh, that's a, that's a good thing to do. Like, you make an annoying character. Oh, wait. You just sell well, yeah. it and just beat him up. I was, like, gonna, I was gonna say you could sell like a plush toy of he's with like the pull a string thing. And yeah, it's like stupid dog. String, he just yells at you. 
<laughs> and like you just beat him up. I, I would love to see that. And you just throw him around. It's like stupid dog. You know what? Uh, fucking I'm gonna stab and your you eyes. Just like screw you, Houston. Just beat him up. Or you could have like a I forgot her name, but it's like Uriel. Uriel. Muri- Muriel. I think it is Uriel. Uriel. Yeah. Basically, Uriel. You could have Uriel. that one. And like when you pull a string, she like. What's it called? Motivates. I keep forgetting how the things I do words. for love. Like she keep like she compliments you. She like. <laughs> Uh, motivates. I keep forgetting words. Basically, she talks nicely to you. I don't really care about her to be honest. It was just mostly she was kind of she was very oblivious. But she's kind of nice because she was the whole like. But she was very oblivious. Motivation for courage a lot of the time. Yeah. So she was be sweet and like nice, and you could be like, oh, oh yeah, and the doctor guy her. too. Oh, that's, a, that's a nice guy. Yeah, and then like a lot of the main or not main, a lot of the side characters are like the creepy side characters people like. Yeah, like they forgot. weren't that bad. I, lo- I love most of the side characters they had. Like, I forgot who... I there forgot was, like, an Asian guy, I like, think. There was, like, one Asian guy. Yeah, well, there was also that guy who, like, constantly smiled. Like, I think, like, Uncle Jack or Nephew Jack or something. Oh, and yeah, in the imagery, had, too. Like, they had, like, weird images. Yeah. Like, oh, man. I like the guy who never smiled. I think he had, like, story. I just love the doctor thing, too. Like, carriage, like, he doesn't know what to do. He just goes on a computer. Yeah. And then, oh yeah, there was that one like teacher person that like kept uh, insulting courage when he messed up and he wasn't perfect. Everyone apparently got like creeped out by her. Oh yeah, I really have to rewatch that. It's a classic. Oh no, it's courage is great. Yeah, I don't even right. remember there being much episode because one just ran for a bit and it just stopped. I think it was like three. Okay, it was like three seasons. Well, apparently it had a solid run for four seasons. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, right. Also, apparently Shit, it's a it great at? final episode, but I don't know. That? Great final episode. I think, honestly, I think the first episode I watched was probably the final episode. Because I remember like being yeah. very climactic. I was like, what's, what's going on here? What's and then show? also, people, yeah, see, people said Perfect was like a good episode. Like, the teacher one. I think it was more because people just related. Yeah, it was nice. And yeah. That one was scary. It was like a mild horror. Not- it, was like, it wasn't that scary, but then again, it was... So yeah, kind of the perfect one wasn't even like I don't think scary much. It was just more like relatable. Yeah. All right. Number ten is don't revive yeah. Johnny Bravo. So Johnny Bravo was fun. Saying that there is also no way it could ever be made today. Yeah. Um, well, I was, I was right about it. So I'm just gonna summarize this. Basically, it's like it's very like anti-feminist. Is that what? Well, no, it's just I'm pretty sure super sexual and just, yeah, it's very sexual. It's very sexist and just he's a womanizer, so yeah. Well, because I'm pretty sure he's. Like I mean, the yeah, over as a kid the show, we wouldn't really show men. He's like the over the top macho, toxic masculinity man. Yeah, like and, and also woman, as a womanizer, I don't think people would really like that. And then every woman he falls in love with, skinny and beautiful, like hot and stuff. Yeah, he's not James Bond, okay? Only James no. Bond can do that. Timeless. He's very just... Oh, yeah, and also, that's another... For sure, yeah. A lot of, like, the women, didn't, like, barely knew him. Like, they didn't like him, yet he kept forcing himself on them. I don't really remember much of him, except for, like, his over, like, expression, like, expressive, like, f- like so gestures. If they, if, they make, if they make a remake and they make it even more adult, that would be, like... That would be not okay. Ooh, okay. Well, that's that. Number nine, oh, yeah. I saw this. Cartoon Network says a third of its viewers were adult. So it was actually an adult cartoon. Really. It's streaming on Adult Swim. There you go. Yeah. I mean, they had a block yeah. in Adult Swim, so. I don't even know if Adult Swim would fit because, again, it's kind of. It's Adult I don't know, Swim. It's kind of just. It, he forced himself on women. It's Adult Swim. Sw- again, it's Adult like Swim. Them, I don't know. Well, because Rick and Morty. Mor- boundaries it's not there was be like, i remember oh. like in that dolson there's a like a show about like a weird like i think like satanic dog or something it was a freaking, yeah see because yeah adults has weird. like silly crazy shows but i don't think they have any like overly sexist or... Actually, Still, uh, i didn't meet racist jokes yet i don't remember every show does that man family guy yeah well family guy for sure family guy yeah actually, and is that for is add... that wait what does family guy aim for aim that adults like, ki- yeah i'm pretty Kids. sure for sure it started off as an adult show, and I think it still is. But I just realized they could add like a. Actually, I was gonna say they could add like a Johnny Bravo characters and 
uh, Family Guy, but I think they kind of have because that's just what's his name. That's just Quagmire. Mm. All right. Without the looks, that's just Quagmire. Number nine is revived Star Trek: The Animated Series. There has been a lot of new Star Trek these days, but how much of it really feels like Star Trek? The news, the new movies are constricted to be big, explody summer blockbuster mold. Star Trek Beyond was closer to a classic. Um, what the fuck is this TOS adventure? I don't know Isn't what, that Star? No. Nope. I don't know what that means. Isn't that? Yeah, um, yeah. So a classic uh, TOS adventure, then the previous two J.J. Abrams movies, which felt more like a wannabe Star Wars movie. It kind of did. Um, guess I mean, what Abrams did? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, he did go on to make Star Wars. Yeah, <laughs> but still a more summer blockbuster type Star Trek Discovery. Meanwhile, uh, Star Trek Discovery. Meanwhile, tries to fit Star Trek into a different mold: the grim and gritty super serialized prestige TV series. What happened to Picard? Picard came out. Is that good? Oh, uh, yeah. I think it sort of is. 91% of people liked it. Okay, okay. I, I might think give it's it a more watch. of just like Picard's Ooh, story. It's on Amazon Prime. I'm, I can stream that right now. Yeah. Well, because apparently you own like every streaming service. Yeah, yeah, if you want to sponsor, I'm um, here. So, yeah. Um, um, I don't know how they can bring this back. I mean, yeah, they can bring it back. It's going to have different oh, voice I'm, actors. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Star Trek. Yeah, do it. Why not? Yeah. You know, we don't see a modern Star Trek show at all. Like, just, just do it once. This experimental. Work on it and it, just grow out. I can see that coming back. Why not? Because I think nowadays, shows will not need a per... I don't know, like, not flashy and stuff. Like, shows can do whatever they want. But I think Star Trek's just kind of like guys in space going around doing base things mm. yeah that's I mean, about it i'm down to see that like it's been a while since i actually did anything like, really i don't good. know much about star trek but a lot of it just take place in the ship it's just a lot of care it's got like massive yeah star trek is a classic sort of man like especially the first one like, the anime series isn't bad it's just character interaction character like relationships and i think that's about it yeah that's all that star trek is it's like characters Nothing That's really why. That good. Uh, dude, what are you talking about? This was amazing. Then. This show was amazing, man. Con. Oh, no, not, yeah, had so many memorable moments. I'm not too big of a fan of Star Trek, so I wouldn't know a lot about Star Trek. But again, it's just kind of a lot of shows or a lot of like I don't know. I don't want to dig myself into a hole. Yeah, we're moving to. Okay, I really have to go in like 30 minutes. Yeah, I didn't know. You know I had what? to go. We gotta be in depth. The speed run, and speed also, run, speed run, speed run. We ramble, and that's speed the run. point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Speed run, speed we run. We always ramble. Speed run. Speed run. Number eight. Don't revive Futurama. Futurama's initial four season run on Fox from 1999 to 2003 was amazing and all too short. Um. <laughs> The series of those episodes in reruns and on TV led to a fifth season comprised of four directed DVD movies released in 2008 and 2009. The movies were okay, but somewhat disappointing. With the first one, Bender's Big Score easily being the best, those movies were successful enough that Comedy Central ordered two more production seasons of this TV show, divided into two halves for four broadcast seasons, which aired 2010-2013. The Comedy Central season's were actually good quite good with a handful of all-time great episodes but overall didn't reach the heights of initial run so Futurama has been canceled three times now and has a total of four series finales uh okay okay okay, okay. it's just it's a lot of rambling perhaps out of habit there are still Futurama fans asking for another revival not a revival at this point although the series has had a good run Previous revivals already showed something of a decline, and nobody wants Futurama to become a zombie like The Simpsons. Hmm. Let's see what Disney tries to do with that. Let the show rest as a classic and get hyped for Matt Groening's upcoming fantasy Netflix, The Disenchantment. Okay, so Eric, did you watch Futurama? Prefer... No, but I prefer. <laughs> I think I prefer fantasy over. Oh, that's just the last sentence left. <laughs> Mm. Wait, which one? No, the last one is an upcoming fantasy show that I like. Fan- like fantasy? Yeah, yeah. Futurama. Fantasy has more, I feel like fantasy has more opportunities. 
ways you can go about All right, it. Eric here likes fantasy, and I like it more ground to earth. Like, there's a reason why Call of Duty Modern Warfare sold a lot more, a lot better than most of, actually, probably all of the futuristic Call of Duty games. I I like over the top. Yeah, you like over the top, but I like some kind of like ground to earth that's why, type of that's thing. That's why I like Skyrim. Skyrim is like a great fantasy world. It's a game I, I like fantasy, world. but not too much. Like, yeah, Skyrim. I like, that's why I, I think that's why some people are well, not some people. Yeah, like shows like The Witcher now, Game of Thrones. I think people are starting to like uh, fantasy a lot. I don't really play that many RPGs. Not gonna lie. And then wasn't there that one like I forgot that one guy's name, but the guy from. Uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. They make a show about making a video game fantasy show or something. I don't remember. I don't know. I saw ads for it. So yeah, this show... I, someday I'm probably oh, going to yeah. watch it. It seems pretty good. All I know is that the robot guy, I think his name is Bender. Yeah, Bender. Yeah. He's voiced by the same guy who voices Jake in Adventure oh, Time. Cause, yeah, because I know a lot of like... the. Oh, they had a cameo too. A <laughs> lot of like talked about stuff. But Futurama, I never watched. All I know is I feel like a lot of good shows are good because they're short. So there's not much to mess up and not say, like, nice little packages of nostalgia and goodness. So I think that's why they're short for a reason. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't think we should bring it back. I mean, there was that one episode about the dog, and everyone cried, like, during that episode, apparently. All right. Okay, number seven. That was a sad episode. On February, oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember that dog. That was sad, yeah. man. They just left the dog, you know, like he was waiting for his owner, yeah. and I think he just died there eventually. And everyone was sad, and everyone was oh. like, "Oh," or and the <laughs> main character guy said, "Like, oh, good life," but then he really didn't. <laughs> all right, then. All yeah, that was sad. All right, number seven, revive the Boondocks. On February twenty eighth, twenty eighteen, fans of the Boondocks got hyped. For the first time since the show's cancellation in 2014, Aaron Magruder updated the official Boondocks Facebook webpage with new drawings of Huey and Riley. Um, was this promotion of a comeback? Turns out it was sort of was, but not kind of, not the not of the I'm kind. The whole game I read ahead. What? No, I read ahead. It was back as a okay. mobile game. Well, oh, oh shit. So it turns out yeah. it sort of was, but the but not of the kind not of the kind people were hoping for. Um on March eighth, Magruder confirmed that the Boondocks was coming back as a mobile game. Why you do this to people? What even? Um so yeah. It's hard to miss the Boondocks when it comes um I mean, now Magruder actually has some sympathetic reason for not wanting to bring the Boondocks back to TV at the moment. It's hard to miss the Boondocks when uh, it's hard to miss Boondocks when life has become the Boondocks. He writes, "Uncle Ruckus is president. We're all living a bizarre political satire that is largely about race and inappropriate for children. But isn't that why we just why we need Boondocks right now? Um, if directing comment of." On current events, it's too difficult or unpleasant. Still getting some stories with these characters uh -huh. were more generally addressing to the culture. In a medium that isn't reliant on in-app purchases could still be worthwhile. Other shows like Atlanta have influence from the boondocks and even surpassed it. But still, if Magruder ever feels like bringing the Freeman family back to television, we'd be very curious to see what he has in store. That's a lot of reading. Can't read. So yeah, I don't, I, I don't really watch Boondocks that much. I mean, I've seen it a couple of times. I watched a little of the Boondocks, and my brother watched a good amount of Boondocks. It was a good show, you know. It was pretty good. It was pretty cool. I don't know why. It's not a racist thing. It's not a racist thing. But it kind of reminds me of Black Samurai. But I think it's only because of the like, character of the Afro. Like, they both have Afro. Wait, no, Afro Samurai. Not, not Black Samurai. Black Samurai, what is that? Black Dynamite? I'm pretty sure Afro Samurai. Let me look it up right now. Black Samurai. I don't think it exists. I think I just messed up. Uh, Yasuki was a retainer of African origin who served under the Sengoku yeah, period, Japanese daimyo. Afro Samurai. 
<laughs> yeah, see, Afro it's only because they both have Afro. It's so. like people also search for Chadwick Boseman, and he just has like this creepy oh, smile. Yeah. So all these but, yeah. <laughs> William Adams, Wait, Alessandro, v- v- like a bunch of historical people, and it's like Chadwick Boseman. Yeah. Oh my God! Wait a minute, Afro Sam produced by Samuel Jackson, and mm. Ninja Ninja was voiced by Samuel Jackson. I have no idea. What and that is. also, Afro Samurai was only five. Hmm. Afro Samurai was. I I haven't watched it, but I can assume it's a pretty good show. It's the first time I heard about it. Well, because Afro uh, Samurai was just like a samurai show, but top. That was kind of the point. <sighs> hmm. All right, number six. Don't revive Captain Planet. It is actually possible to imagine a scenario in which a reboot of Captain Planet is not only better the better is not only better the original better the original but generally good. The idea behind Captain Planet, a superhero show meant to teach kids to protect the environment, was a noble one. It was merely the execution that was ridiculous and messed up. As life on Earth is more peril than ever, and real life anti-invent my invent anti-invent. Environmentalists. Mean, anti- environmentalists. Yes. Seem increasingly like absurd cartoon vil- supervillains. A bigger, better Captain Planet sounds like a good idea. Um, what is impossible to imagine in such a Captain Planet series actually making much, if any, positive impact in the world, on the world. The old series actively turned many people off with its cheesy preachiness. The brand is tainted enough that just the name Captain Planet will cause people to dismiss what it has to say. The recent crossover like episode Planet. between Captain Planet and OKKO. Let's, uh, whatever that show, OKKO, let's be heroes. I've heard, I, I heard of it. Yeah, it works because it's wacky comedy where messages are secondary, whereas full on Captain America, Captain Planet, Captain America, <laughs> Captain uh-huh. Planet reboot would have to be extremely focused on messaging. So I just can't, it's not a, like people don't like PSAs basically. I like Captain Planet. Have you ever Again, seen? I watched... Have you ever seen what? Don Cheadle as Captain Planet? No, but I don't want to. <laughs> he was. <laughs> All I know is I like Captain Planet. Like again, they did that marathon, me and I watched it for like three days straight. Captain Planet was cool. Okay, 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 okay. All I know is you just have to like kind of. You know, you guys watching right now. Look up Don Cheadle, Captain Planet. Eric, look at Discord right here. Just look Captain, up Don Cheadle, Captain, Captain Planet. That's why I don't want to. Okay, Captain Planet's one of those things where you just have to suspend, your, I guess, <laughs> criticism and just enjoy it because I'm, it was okay. Uh, it was not great, but it was not like horror. Yeah, it was not horror, as Eric said. Yeah. It's not horror. And actually, wait, I just realized, too, this, even though it's be sort of like superhero we I'm pretty sure Cam Planet never really fought. He came out and stopped the bad guy. Alright, are, are, are you looking at the list right now? Do you, do you know some of these? Well, I haven't looked at the rest of the list because I want to just like, what's it called? Do you know something? Uh, okay, number, okay, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to say this to save time. Personal opinion. Oh, Popeye! Do you know what Why Mega... Alright, you know what? Yeah, let's do Popeye's first. Alright, Eric, you want to you read that? What do you mean? Do Popeyes first? Isn't that the next one? <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna read the other ones first, but whatever. Oh, okay, well, do know, that one. Why is she in that position? Yeah, you know, what even is that? Did she fall over? It's her butt in the air. She looks like Gary the Snail. Uh, yeah, guys, look at okay. And that's how I could have sworn what's it called? Popeyes, or I I could have sworn Popeyes' biceps were big, not his forearm. No, no, his his forearms were big. That's one of his biceps. It, it was the side effects of the spinach she's been eating. Oh, have you watched? Have you watched uh, Wolf of Wall Street? Yeah, well, I know it. There was one scene where, like, they're like they had like a, some kind of weird like like drug side effect, panic attack, and <laughs> they played um because you know how Popeye gets all powerful and like beats up people, right? Yeah. It was on TV of him doing that, and Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio sees that. And he's like, all right. I gotta be like yeah. Cap. I gotta be like him. Get my spinach. Freaking snorts a line oh, of cocaine. It's like that move. It's that all movie powerful. It's crazy. Or Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. 
Yeah, that movie's oh man. A lot of people like or a lot of people like and talk about the scene where Matthew McConaughey just improvises like Mm -hmm. what's it called? Taps his chest and then Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you can see I like if you first watch it you think it's Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see Leo's genuine views. And Leo's just genuinely like I guess copy. I mean, it fits like it, during that time, his character was like very inexperienced. So it fits. And then, like, well, the no, because it was here? completely improvised. Like no one knew what was mm-hmm. happening. Matthew McConaughey oh. was just like, "Come on now." Leo was like, "Okay." Like he 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 took a line of cocaine outside and then, before it happened. Yeah, Matthew McConaughey was on cocaine in real life. Actually, no, uh, cocaine would make you uh, energetic. I mean, method acting. Okay, method acting is a thing. So yeah, but. Yeah, but I'm talking about like because I was so improvised. Neo was even caught off guard. He's like a good actor. <laughs> like, so okay, everyone okay, was just like, "What, what is happening?" Here? Leo's just like, "Just play along. Just play along." <laughs> all right, all right. So like, you want you, you want to read number five, Popeye? Well, yeah, Popeye. I mean, since it's under revive, I mean, we don't have to talk much about it because everyone knows like Popeye's a good show. I'm pretty sure. It's- yeah, I can see them making There's a show. Movie. I can see them making a movie of it, which honestly won't probably do good. Just like, like from what I it. can tell, no, yeah, a lot of the shows that should be brought back are shows that like didn't end, and also like what's it called, aren't aren't too controversial. Like they're just fun. Well, Although Popeye, Popeye, Popeye has so many good fight scenes. I've, I've actually watched some recent ones. Yeah, because if you think about it now, like now I'm thinking about it, Popeye's kind of like a big strong man fights a big strong man to save a woman woman oh, like yeah. the stronger man blah <laughs> and in this position you guys really have to see this that's why it's like it's in the yeah. it's in the link down below but for that position man what, you know what's gonna go on and then also she's Afterwards. like uh, that show taught kids to eat their spinach yeah because it gives you tumors in your arms and then you become <laughs> you get buff. two more no that's not buff that is not buff you see a guy that like that I remember buff. a family guy did a thing on that like that, you clearly have tumors Clearly, it's okay. You've had a stroke. I don't know how you're still alive. Like you're supposed to have muscles, yeah, but like not over there, well, not on I your just arms. Realize, apparently, what's it called? Somebody forearms. canceled Popeye. Like canceled the Popeye. Uh, wait, a minute. I can't read. Yeah, apparently, like they were going to bring Popeye back or like make a Popeye movie or something. But apparently, Sony canceled it oh, and then greenlit the emoji movie. Apparently, if it weren't for the emoji movie, I've had a Popeye. <laughs> I don't know if that was the right thing. Was that the right sound effect? Was there a sound effect? I didn't hear a thing. Oh shit! Whoa! Oh, wait. I, I I've been okay. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? I looked at the next one and I don't remember that. All right. My my soundboard is not working. I was basically a no sound effect. Okay. Oh no! It's, it's no no. Yeah. yeah, I remember Boomerang. Boomerang was a good. Uh, it's it's still a thing. Network, I guess it's, it's still a thing. It's just very obscure. I barely remember, or I barely remember like what shows it had specific. Like it. Hold on, let me fix. All right. Um, you want to yeah. read the next one? I don't know what about uh Rocket Kid or something. Whatever. I... Do you remember that? Rocket it looks like a Nickelodeon no. show. I barely remember. It, it. kind of looks like Rugrats. Like Rats. The characters kind of look familiar, but that's about it. I don't remember. All right, number really th- yeah, I don't really know. I'm just, I'm just gonna skim through this. It says "Don't revive Rocket Power." Oh, also, I didn't even realize it said "Don't revive." I don't really know about anything about the show. Eric, you want to read it? Because I'm, I'm gonna try to fix my it's stuff. Just don't revive because it's just yeah. Apparently, it's a, oh, just getting discussions and with Nickelodeon executives deciding no, Rocket Power sucks. <laughs> So I guess it's one of those things kind of agrees that just was not great and barely memorable. Like, I think that's why it's just don't bring it back. It's just because there's no point to bring it back. Unless you're very niche and, like, remember it exactly. Like, I don't think... Yeah, I can't think of anything, like, good about it. Or in terms of, like... I don't know, basically, I think it's just don't bring it back because there's no point in bringing it back it's just eh. anyway although mega oh wait well now are we moving on to number three is this all I'll, I'll move on to number three 
Okay, he's not here. I'm hello, 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 three. hello. Can you hear me? Okay, now oh, good he's day. back. I'm moving good on day. to number three. I had to reset my thing. I'm moving just, on to Okay, okay, three. okay. Four, um... Four. Again, four, it's just okay. nothing. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what they literally talked about. Yeah. And also for the, the, for the Popeye point reboot point. being canceled by... For like because of the Moji movie, this is what I was I was thinking. This is what. This is what. Oh, well, that was. Like, no! Oh, yeah. no! 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 <laughs> that was my reaction right there. <laughs> oh no! I had to watch some Moji. I don't know. It wasn't I terrible, terrible, but it was not good. Yeah. All right, like, number it, okay. It, number four. What, what is this? Uh, number three. Number three. What is this? Uh, number three. I do remember. It's Mega Mega's XLR. All right. I liked it. You can talk about Again, it. I, I don't, don't know. remember much, much, but I'm pretty sure it was a Cartoon Network show and it was cool. It reminds me of kind of like Hot, it looks like Hot Wheels and Transformers combined. So I don't know anything about it. Well, because I, if I remember correctly, it's not Power Rangers, but it's characters. Yeah, like if you look it up, they're like specific characters and they get into a robot and they fight the bad guys that also have their own or something. So. Mm. Again, I don't remember too much. But <laughs> I, I just see that. Really cool. And it's one of those things where it wasn't a kids show. It was like more like Chicks. a kid-friendly teenage show. Where like, so it actually had story and character development. I'm just and stuff. I'm just reading the bold text right now. It says chicks might dig giant robots, but it seems Turner's accountants decidedly do not. Oh. Yeah, and also it's just a good <laughs> show. I mean, if they, I mean. It wasn't, 2020 man if it counts don't like chicks then it wasn't a bad show plus giant robots are not starting to catch on people like giant i mean mm, power rangers star they wars. Voltron. no not star wars what the fuck star oh, giant robots in star the, wars it's gonna happen specific someday Rim even made giant robots well it technically already has giant robots giant robot. all right number number two what is this do you know that ru ru runi yeah. kenshi you know that? I'm pretty sure it's Rurouni Kenshi. Well, yeah. I don't. Of. I don't know what that is. I don't know. I don't really. Watch, I haven't it really watched like, anime it until. It looks like an anime. Like, I get. I got I in like back. I got into anime like at 2013. Like I didn't watch just it. Just Dragon Ball. I've heard of it, and I think I've seen it. Like I recognize. It. I think as a kid, I I saw it. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of a. Uh, I don't remember if I remember it correctly, but I think it kind of reminds me of you, not you, you Hakusho. Actually, maybe. I don't really remember. So, one with a cat person. Yeah. What, um, what was it called? If you want, you can talk about this. I don't really know anything about it. Well, I don't really know much about it either. Ooh. Nope, um, not Yu Yu Hakusho. That's a different show. I'm white, basically. I don't know animes. Yeah, he's born in yeah, Vietnam, you. but he's white. Yeah. Hey, my favorite show is Arrow. All right. This is oh, my gosh. Look at that. Number one. Look at that armpit. What's that one show? Oh, you see number the one? Look at that armpit. Oh. What's, what's that one show Dude, with Fred the Flintstone. cat person that had yellow hair, or not yellow, white hair that's like demon, c c c but then can the he hat. has a sword and he fights oh, <laughs> can the demon hat. and stuff? I don't know. It was like a famous anime. It's the can the hat anime. Yeah. Cat demon person anime. Demon Can the hat knows person. all about that. Cannibalism? I'm, I'm I'm just okay. It says okay. Number one is Flintstones. Revive Flintstones and yeah. I still don't get the image, but yeah. Yeah, and the, in the image is basically okay. It shows Fred Flintstone and who's that girl to the right? I don't know, I forgot. Her in name. you, in in you, in you, in you, Yasha. In you, Yasha. That's the cat show. That's that's the anime with the cat human demon thing. That interesting fight crimes. All right, Eric. But you see this? You see, you see number yeah. one. Who's the guy? Who's that's the girl right. to the right? Who's the girl to the right? A girl to the right? I think that's Bam Bam. What? Bam no, Bam? Pebbles. Pebbles? Pebbles to the right. I think. Oh, to the right. Yeah, that's not Pebbles. That's, uh, I almost said Velma, but that's that's. Actually, is it Velma? Stone? No, that's um, just Velma. I know her name, but I forgot. it's the wife. Like Betty? Is it Betty? Wilma. That's Wilma. 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 Wait, no. Or is that the future one? No, that's Wilma. What do you mean future? That's Wilma. 
No, because there's the this show and then there's the no, that's Jets. No, no, no. This Wilma is this show. Yeah, Jets. Okay, so basically, okay. yeah, it's um the image is if you want to if you guys can't see this or like listen to this without the images. Does the image for me looks like something like DC would have made. Basically, like, yeah, Flintstone. Like Fred Flintstones is raising up his right arm. Like, he, like that's why when I first saw, I literally asked, "Is that Superman?" That's Fred. Yeah, look at that like armpit Fred. though. What the heck? That's not like, an wait, that's you scroll up to the very top and you look at the hair like Superman has that like, tough sticking out. Yeah. And Fred has that tough. Okay, my what I'm concerned out. of. Do you see the girl to the left? Yeah. It says cannibalism, the unknown that's ideal. Why. So, like, well, I don't know, but that's that? his daughter, so I don't. That's a daughter. Wait, I can't remember. Didn't it make like not a? Sh- oh yeah. Like, the sort pebbles? of continuation where she grew up and then she yeah, got you with like Bam free Bam pebbles, or don't you? All like, right. Pebbles, Bam Bam were a thing. So, there was almost a primetime revival of Flintstones earlier this decade on Fox. Seth Seth MacFarlane Macfar- Seth Seth oh, no. Seth Seth Macfar- was announced as the showrunner in 2011, but a year later, the series was already rejected. According to MacFarlane, he had trouble making Fred Flintstone distinct from Peter, G- Peter Griffin. Yeah. The last thing anyone wants in Flintstones that. reboot, um, that's just a clone of Family Guy. However... I mean- Bringing back the modern Stone Age family to prime time television is actually a worthy goal. What, what are you saying? What do you want to say? No, because I was going to say that, like, because Seth MacFarlane, because as soon as I heard Seth MacFarlane was, like, in charge of making us, I was like, isn't it just Family Guy but Flintstone? Yeah, so then, exactly. Yeah, like, Either really Family Guy or American Dad. Like, they could have made jokes about how, like, oh, they're going to oh, make uh, Fred. the bed rock. Like, oh, oh, Fred, do you know about like, the bird? The bird is the word. Oh, uh-huh. and then they could they could like poke fun at like how back then Bonnie. Fred Flintstone like, they advertise cigarettes mid episode. Yeah, dude. They, hey, they just they just want a gay old time, okay? Like Fred and uh, what's his name? Barney. Or There's Barney? a lot of bush to be sold. <laughs> Whatever Bar- his name was. It's Barn. Like, I think Fred, it's Barney. I, think it's, or, I don't remember. Basically, Fred and that guy just literally had a smoke break. Hey, like they they just wanted a gay old time, okay? Oh, Incorporated into the episode. Friends. They just wanted a gay old time. Everyone knows the Flintstones used to smoke real cigarettes. Modern day cigarettes. Exactly. Luckily, there's already a perfect blueprint from how to make this work. This is Flintstones oh. comic miniseries written by Mark Russell and illustrated by Steve I was Pugue. Well, I wasn't joking, but I literally did say it's a masterpiece. Like, it looks like DC. So now it explains a lot. I had her Barbera, Warner Brothers. That picture is DC. Wow. I was like, wait, that looks like DC. That looks like Superman. That's not a joke. And it turns out it was. I don't. I, that doesn't really look like. Besides the, you can say it looks like fucking. Well, because he's big, he has like the hair. You can say that, that looks like, like, like Batman. Body, you can just might as well say that's Batman. Well, no, because Batman never smiles. That's not a smile. That's a fucking. I don't know what the heck That's that is. Like, like, yay! I got my thumb up. Look at my armpit. Like whole, what's it called? I just. Dis- uh, I dislocated my stand. shoulder. Yay! And then also, uh, that's why I said like the wife looks kind of like Wonder, Woman. and she even has like the arm pose. So I was like, this looks a lot like something okay, DC yeah, would make. Yeah. So bad. It is DC. okay. And then and then the girl to the left is Barbara Gordon because they have and blonde then, yeah, hair. Yeah, the girl to the left is Ginger. Barbara. That or I can't yeah, think of any yeah, other character yeah, yeah. that's like that. Okay, okay. So back to what I was reading. Rather than just repeating formulas from old shows, it turns everything on its head as a dark but ultimately humanist satire, looking at just what the point of civilization civilization even is from perspective of people who've just invented it. The success of Bojack Horseman proves this sort of oh. mixture of depression and puns can develop a devoted audience. Um, rumors abound the Warner Brothers animation wants, um, wants to bring back Flintstones in some form or other. Voice actor Jeff Burgum claims that they're, de- they're developing a dino-centric series with Steve Hullett, former head of Animation Guild, say, says, that, says that they're thinking of rebooting with an African American centric that, cast, that could mm. work. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, bad. they did do "Everyone Loves Raymond," and then all of a sudden make everyone hate Chris out of like nowhere. 
All right. So hopefully they're not ignoring the comics. High acclaim and can pull off a cartoon of similar caliber. Okay, well, yeah, do it, man. I mean, like when I was young, there weren't there wasn't really many Flintstone like modern Flintstone cartoons at all. As I don't really know any. I well, just I remember Flintstone. We all know modern, Flintstone gummies. Yeah, we've all heard about the cereal and the gummies, but we've never really seen a show so far. Well, it's I've been a long time. Show. Well, I haven't. I, I remember as a kid. I forgot if it was on. Cartoon Network or something. Yeah, but the show was like the forties one, right? The the seventies. Uh, yeah, I think it's still old. Well, it's like seventies, six. Yeah, but that's uh, one, yeah remake. That's what I'm color. saying. As far as like a yeah, present, one in color. as far as a present yeah. show, not the black and well, this animation was basically the same, but the one in color. The only one I watched when I was really like younger was the um the Flintstones go to like Vegas yeah. movie, whatever it's called. That's what I watched. What? Because I remember watching the episode where the Jetsons met the Jetsons. That was really cool. Jetsons, we are Jetsons. I forgot how the titles, or not titles, I forgot how the theme song. No, it goes like do, 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 do. The, the Jetsons. Jetson. Oh, yeah, I think. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, remember, I, I think I remember like a. Work. I think it was like a Family Guy parody. Like, where. Have you seen a Family Guy, Family Guy parody where like the wife takes away like the, the wallet from the guy and like the guy beats her up? <laughs> Like, don't take my money. Oh, no. What the fuck? Let's see. I, I don't know. All I remember, I think I'm mixing up Jensen, a flip down, uh, theme song. I mean, yeah, it's I like as a kid, do, I had. Do, do. Dick Tracy. Bring, bring back. Bing back. Bing back. Dick Tracy. Oh, snake. Because he's a good oh. cop. Okay. What's that? Uh, Flintstone Vitamin. Thing. He's a good cop. Do, 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 do. Yeah, exactly. You all know about that. All right, that's that's yeah. a list. We kind of skimmed through a few. Um, Eric, do you have any shows you want to bring back? Uh, bring back. I mean, Ben Ten's a big one. Yeah. Um, same thing. Ben Ten. Honestly, not not the re- okay. We all know like there's a reboot Ben Ten, there's, there's but not many people like that compared to the old Ben Ten continuity. Ben Ten pulled a Teen Titans Go and should be banished. Well. I don't think it's that bad. Like, it's not Teen Titans bad, but it's still, like, it's very inferior compared to the original. Yeah. And also, well, they were building no. a lot. They were building a lot yeah. for, like, the next, like, That's Omniverse. I, I, I like, yeah, Omniverse, because at first I didn't like Omniverse, but in the end, apparently it was pretty okay. Who was the pretty Malware good. guy? Who was the Malware? Uh, well, are you talking about Malware? Because I think that is... That's his name? <laughs> okay. Or yeah, because they're, uh, they're doing, like, a Malware Vilgax kind of, like, Merger and I, I don't yeah. love to see that. All I know is I l- I like because my favorite is uh Ben Ten Alien Force and Ben Ten Alien Force. Because I yeah. like Teenage Ben. Teenage like, Ben was cool. I have to admit to Ultimate Alien, the plot is kind of weird, but I, think I just love I the concept. I was a little confused by uh, Omniverse because I was like, how old is he? And like, when is this taking place? It's like twenty. Like no, he, no, no. Okay, Omniverse. Yeah, he's like twenty, like 21, 20. That's fine. Well, that's that's why, because Omniverse looks like he's the age, but then he keeps talking about like. No, no, yeah. People didn't people. like Omniverse, but then again, it wasn't that bad as people said it yeah. was. It was well, no, because apparently okay. it ended up like adding a lot to the Ben. Yeah, but Rook, man, I love okay. Rook. Rook was nice. Like I just first impression, I was like, this looks bad, and it was okay. No, yeah, a first impression, I was like, oh, they got rid of like Gwen and Kevin. Like, what would they? Well, do cause also, because first impression, I was like, this looks. Awesome. Again, like he went from looking amazing and like my favorite ultimate alien person, alien person. But like, I get it, you know, bad. they wanted to aim it more for kids. It wasn't I that. How he looked. It wasn't like yeah. forced humor, really, but as far as Again, I know. Like now thinking about it, animation wise, I think I remember. Like, Ben from Alien Force and Ultimate Alien Force are like my favorite look. Like he I just love Ultimate sweet. Alien mainly because of the. Um, the ultimate aliens. Like all the characters I just love look that. great. The animation looks great. It looks like a show that you would watch, like not even a kid show, just a show. Like ultimate aliens, like poke, like it's it's basically like um mega evolutions before mega evolution. Kind of, uh, looking at it, well, because also that idea was cool. The whole like, yeah, oh uh, yeah, the humongousaur. Like the I just love the design and like the way yeah. it's it's unrealistic. Or like he can just shoot out missiles from his and paws. Ten million, not ten million, like. Actually, maybe ten million years into the future, and you evolve. Wait, wait. Ben can turn into any alien, right? Like, yeah. Well, 
I want to see him turn into a human. Can he turn into a human? This turns into another human. Maybe. Oh, Can no, he turn into think, like having that like, debate yeah. of oh Ben never fought Goku or Superman? He can just transform. I hate those man. mega evolution. It's like who would I remember like back Not like when evolution. look what you cost. Oh, it's like called man. ultimate. I really like, hate like, that. Oh. I remember back like when I Infinity War was a thing. Like when it came out, people were like, I've seen like videos like like or like pictures oh, yeah. of like Imagine Goku remember like have yeah, you seen those pictures Goku giving like uh Thanos like all the th- infinity gems yeah they're like yeah. I want you to get like your best power I'm like I mean it makes sense that, that, he's just gonna snap of... you out of there like it's like him versus the Omni King like yeah well, you're done that's why Goku you have, have no chance of kind of doesn't understand much else too like yeah but it's like well, Omni King power like just snap you're gone yeah but so yeah, like that's that's it's why it's not physical I like fighting really. Of like Ben, Ben could just literally become maybe like Thanos and then use the like ultimate form and then just become ultimate Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> what? Or like, or like you fight Superman. He just becomes become Dark Side. Superman. Yeah, he be- Dark hey, Side Dark is I mean, Ben Ten. Because if Dark Side is Ben alien, Ben can become Dark Side and just become ultimate Side. It's like, hey, let me, let me do this. Like that's why Ben Ten is probably gonna cool sound. Idea. This is probably gonna sound very cringy, but here we go. Like, let's Dark see side is. is... No, no. Ben Ten. I, I, I was trying to find like a kind of like childish voice, thing say? voice but model. Yeah, like took too long. I don't know. All I know is I still like again. Teen Ben's my favorite. And Alien Force. Yeah. Alien Honestly, so yeah. Alien weird. Force is what hooked me to Ben Ten. Like I don't really yeah. like. I don't really watch that much of. The original one. I watched the original like, ben whatever. Ten, but it it was good. But again, I can't because it didn't have too much of a story. It was more again more episodic. I was kind of just like, okay, I like the idea. I like transformations. Mm-hmm. Again, that would be cool if because again, the more you think about it, Ben transforms into Goku, he just becomes ultimate Goku. Oh yeah, and same thing. Super yeah. Saiyan, Tragod. Also, the the reboot, like Kevin, I, he's basically. I heard it like Ben Ten, like he builds his own watch. It's like, yeah, I'm, yeah, that sounds weird. Takes away the fun, like he's not like the anime, or, like whatever yeah. his like race is, I, like Animagus. I like, Animagus, I like, char- it's not Animagus, or, I like but... char- Kevin's like character arc, I guess. So, yeah. yeah, he went from like just absorbing energy, I think, to then absorbing the watch and then becoming that weird mutated form, and then becomes he was, a good like, guy. Into, like, so, uh, yeah. What's that called? It's been so long. The 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 null the null the no void. No void. So yeah, he was sent to the null void. Prison. The null void. He, like, out his powers. And now he can absorb metal, and then he uh mess with the watch, and that transformed again. Yeah, I love how they redeemed him. Oh, yeah. you, 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 in Omniverse, do you remember Clyde Five? <laughs> Clyde. Uh, Five. I know. They did a whole theme for him, I think. Also. All I know is. Again, and then also, what's it called? Uh, Alien Force Ben was that like, because when I first saw him, I was like, I want a jacket, because that was such a cool jacket. Like Clyde that was five. the first time. Yeah, had, like, I know. It made that, me love that. I love that shade of green, man. Yeah, and then also they introduced the car. Oh yeah, I love that. I still love that Force. muscle car, Kevin's muscle car. That's why, yeah, like that was the best. And then Ben even got his own car. And they got a flipping jet. Oh, and I'm- that car. I I remember in the movie when the movie came out, they did like a a kind of like a giveaway. Like the first person to call will get Kevin's car, and I was like, "Holy and then, shit!" And then also, like, I didn't get it though because it was like five, like three yeah. hours ahead or something. I don't know. And then also, like Gwen, like they, they really shamed did, it for they EST. really upgraded Gwen. Because at one point, Gwen basically not became a god. But she like had her energy form. She could like was super powerful. Yeah, they went from lucky girl to like whatever. Yeah. It went from Lucky Girl to she was basically sort of a Jean Grey. I mean, Omniverse added a lot too in the universe. Like, yeah, um, well, that's why there were actually that's aliens like, living in Earth already. That's why people said like Omniverse kind of. Well, Alien Force I think did that, but Omniverse but not that expanded. much. Like a underground city. That's why, yeah, and All Omniverse right. expanded on it. Basically, yeah, there's a lot. Let's reboot this show, man. Like, I don't think it can work in Cartoon Network anymore. As I said, Maybe. HBO Max. HBO again, Max again. Alien Force. I forgot. Eric hates uh, HBO Max. Like, I, I don't know what it's on, <laughs> but Alien Force and Old Force that just fine. Yeah. So yeah, I would love to and reboot again, that. It was one of the shows that's still crazy, and yet it didn't 
Like it wasn't affected by the marketing. It still stuck to its own. Eric, anything else you want to reboot aside from Ben 10? Johnny Test. Johnny Test, man. Now, people Johnny either Tess. love this or hate it. There's a lot of people who hate it, but a lot of people who well, love I it. Think people, I don't know, because I think... It's kind of repetitive Johnny if you Tess look at it. Show. They saw That's the repetitiveness why, at the end. A, like A lot of shows were. Like the cliche where like his um his dad would like say, Oh, if you won't go here, you're grounded or like if you don't you yeah, won't be kind of like the back whole, for dinner. Like they knew about the cliche and it's kind of like the whole uh most like kind of unoriginal like episodic show. It's just how episode like Oh um, yeah. Ep- Do you remember the race? Show. I love the race. I, I just love how casual some of them are sometimes. Like I like Johnny Test. I, I like how every episode I love okay, I love like, pa- it's not really Johnny Test is not the original in my opinion. There are a lot of parodies of other characters, like Dark Darth well, Vader. Kind of this silly thing. Yeah, and like, I love that. There was that. an episode where he became a superhero and his ability was fart. And then the cat, the cat and his butler, I forgot their yeah, names. And also, everyone loved the dog. The dog was like the best. Oh yeah, so Duke who was voiced by, but like that voice is now I think like distinct. Oh man, I love yeah, I love the cat man. Like I loved how back then I didn't really get it, but now I kind of see like it was a parody of like James Bond and kind of like. Alfred from Batman. That's not, yeah, and also a lot. Of- it was like, a funny Tess parody was- with James Bond. <laughs> they could have made it a lot weirder, but no, it's okay. Yeah, see, Duke. Evil the dog Garfield. Yeah, Duke. Oh yeah, and then Dukey. there's uh, yeah, and then there's I forgot his name. The I second most repugnant name for a dog goes with actually Doofus, Doofus or Dookie. <laughs> All I know is Johnny Tess. Kind of dog great. names. I love Johnny Tess. Apparently, yeah. I had bad reviews. Love Johnny Test. Johnny Test was amazing. It wasn't really original, but it was fun. Okay, it wasn't. It wasn't cringy, as far as I yeah. remember. Well, that's why, because Johnny Test was like just fun. Every episode, it was just like, oh, what new adventure is he going this time? But as a reboot, okay. Honestly, as a reboot, what can they really add? Well, that's why. Like, if they get creative enough, they can just. Make yeah, but they've never really been that creative. Like, they've always been like cliche stuff. Like. They copy well, stuff. that's what made it fun. It's just because it was just fun and also, oh yeah, I'm just looking at it now. But remember Shaolin's Showdown? No, I don't. Like a weird show where like they're all martial arts or something. Oh, I think you showed me that before. I've seen it, but not really watching. Yeah, it. I I barely remember that, but yeah. yeah. I mean, they could reboot also Teen Titans, like make a real one. They okay. I don't know what happened. They had rumors of that, but and it really resurfaced really, oh. as far as I know. Well, because I remember there was that movie that was like Teen Titans Go versus Teen Titans. And then it was a little weird because they the voice actors are the exact same. So they just voiced two different characters in the same movie. Like when they were talking to each other, they were just literally talking to themselves. There's also a Crypto the Superdog and Dexter's Laboratory. <laughs> There's also Spectacular Spider-Man. Oh, that's why. Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers was a lot. Oh, yeah, there's Static Shock. All right, all right. Sorry. Okay, so I actually have to to go in five minutes. (laughs) And... All right, let's just get this is going to be through. Okay, so... Oh, yeah. You should bring back... You should bring back... I can't even talk. I think they should bring back King of the Hill also. Um, honestly, they've talked about reboots. It's still in question. Um, the the author of it, uh, fuck, I forgot, I forgot his name. Dotrieve something. I think, like, I don't know. Jim Dotrieve. That's his name. Wait, crypto the super. Jim Dotrieve. Um, I would love to see him. Like, uh, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I just feel have to go. Um, so King of the Hill. Yeah. It's gonna apparently it's gonna happen like ten years, like a decade later i would love to see that there's a lot like i want to see hank's view in this world right now like how yeah, cringy it is memories. and how much mean like all the memes and stuff like that i would love to see that kind of aspect yeah and i'm down for yeah, that crypto the super dog was a pretty okay show mm-hmm. Wasn't all right but my number like... one thing that i think should return is adventure time eric doesn't think so because it just it, yeah, it ended like two years ago so like yeah but why would you reboot recent. it yeah, I mean, I get it. Like, wait a while, but yeah, I really uh, think that should return. Again, maybe if you're talking about a continuation, but I don't count that as like a reboot. But not not on Cartoon Network, because like Cartoon Network, it tries to aim for kids. As again, like they're trying to market it. 
And I don't want Adventure Time to like be mainly focused well, on marketing. Because like, Adventure Time was on for like kids, and yet it's still talked about. Not yeah, adult but, topic, but those kids sense. are now like adults and All I know teenagers. Is the the was a good so I think they should change the demo. Okay, Eric, I okay. If they if they don't do it in ten years, I'm gonna write it. Okay, I already have kind of like a That's fanfic right. of Adventure Time. Wait, hold! I forgot who the heck was Kevin. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm looking at Crypto the Super Dogs. Okay, Adventure Kevin. Time. So, okay, if you want me to go through like all my fanfics, I can probably do another video. But uh, I wanted to take place like twenty years in the future, ten years in the future. And it's going to be basically based on Finn's kids. Finn's kid. Yeah, see, well, yeah, see that's just a continuation. That would be a reboot, technically. That's not a reboot if it's the same timeline. No, that's why. It's more of a continuation. Okay, Adventure Time is a title. It's not saying... Just change it, man. No, that's why. So I'm just saying, like, then you're not a reboot. You're just asking for a new show. It's like how Dragon Ball... No, I, Dragon I'm Ball just saying it's a continuation... Well, yeah, sure, you can say that, but you you can just still keep Adventure Time as the name. No, that's why. You can't. Like, if they reboot King of the Hill, they can just still call it King of the Hill, right? Well, that's why. Well, because some things are reboots as in they're actually reboots. Like, they're bringing it back, but then, like, maybe making sort of new stories. No, but still, just, just keep it as Adventure Time. I don't care, man. It's solid Adventure Time. I don't think people so will have a problem with that. Acting for the Boruto Thing. I don't I don't know. Just Adventure Time. I don't get or why it's, it's so complicated. Naruto, just name it Adventure it's just Time. Now they're kids. There are more like complicated renames in like history, like Call of Duty. Fucking Well not the name. They the went name to Modern Warfare matter. again. Saying, like, so you want a show that's just about their kids, which is just a continuation. Just say Adventure Time season what six or whatever next season. Just say season yeah, six. Just, just say like twenty continue. years later. Like it's not oh, that hard. Wait, crypto was killed. Like it's still gonna okay, it's still gonna have Finn and Jake, but like 20 years yeah. so basically the yeah. main um the well, main characters like, are gonna be finn's son and i forgot his name i think it was jericho that's why it's kind of a continuation it's gonna be I jake's some brother's people want, son some people want a continuation of uh what's it called uh uh phineas and Ferb. okay 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 well that that okay well, I don't know how well, they they already wrapped it up. It's like it's like regular show, no, that's man. Why they wrapped it you can up, make a like, you can make a continuation of regular show, but they already wrapped it up. They showed what happens yeah, yeah. later on. Well, that's why it's like they showed it later on, but then they like they could show their kids now. They, Phineas they and Ferb. I don't know much about thing. Phineas and Ferb, but yeah, sure, why not? Adventure Time though, as I heard, they're doing stuff with Bimo now on HBO Max, so. HBO Max uh, seems like a primary streaming I don't know site if now. HBO Max for me seems. Uh, he doesn't like event. He doesn't like HBO Max because he doesn't really well, like. Because they also make Game of Thrones and like all that stuff. Yeah, and they also have Sesame Street. So what does that say? They're very. Uh, they're very, like not new, but HBO Max specifically just not just came out, but recently came out and stuff and all that stuff and the streaming uh, I don't so care really as long as it's a good show exclusive. as long as the streaming service is nice it's not really pushing then, anything onto the show then, they might, they then might yeah increase prices. I'm down for that it's $11 able, it is pretty expensive yeah, as a streaming they might service be able to like increase prices they like start getting popular so then they start charging people another show I want to return is Dragon Ball Eric says it's way too soon because of Dragon Ball Heroes well, not Apparently, you can't you can't that's do Dragon Ball Heroes and Dragon Ball Super at the same time. No, because I'm saying like that's just how the show like how Dragon Ball works is that a show ends and then you wait and then the show continues. Yes, but or Dragon Ball Heroes, show. okay, okay. So you're just asking for a like um more Dragon Ball right now, which no, I mean, okay. To be to fair, not many people watch Dragon Ball Heroes compared to how many people watch Dragon Ball Super. Not many people no, really care why, about heroes, it, mainly because it stays in Japan, man. Yeah, but that's what I mean. It's just like we just have to wait. Because again, it's one of those things where it's not a question of what if it's coming back. It's more a question of when it's coming back. Yeah, but when is it coming back? That's, that's the question. question. Well, that's why. Bring so it back now. Wait. This isn't an issue of like we need to plan this. This is it's this, this is back. just like this is just like GTA Six, man. It's long overdue. Okay, let's make well, it happen. Well, that's why it's like. Well, no, because GTA Six, I think, is questionable. No, like, GTA Six will was... happen. Okay, if look at their Twitter. Have you seen the Twitter comments? It's like GTA 6. When's GTA 6 coming out? That's all the Twitter comments. 
Yeah, but at like the new same thing time, in GTA Five. Where's GTA Six? Remember when everyone was like Half Life Three and it never came out? Oh, well, there's Half Life Nexus or something. I don't know, but like, there there Alex. are. Okay, people will hate Rockstar if they never released GTA yeah, Three. Like, Drag- Dragon GTA Ball is Six. More of Dragon AKA Ball for Spice sure, City. more just like a when than an if. Anyways, guys, so I really have to go soon. In like two minutes. Yeah. Um, that, we're gonna just wrap this up. I, I remember, we're like, just gonna wrap thinking, this up. And a big issue with Super is they made it like, or not like basically they took it to like God level way too soon. Oh, yeah, they now, made. I yeah, much, I hate Goku. He's too stupid. Compared no, to not compared like, to now, Z, not much like, to go from. They could have just another series. No, they have a lot of stuff like, to work and, with. No, they the no, tournament mean, like, power MUI built up to another like, like a lot of subplots. No, that's why. But MUI is supposed to be like, the ultimate transformation. Yeah, now, I guess. Are they gonna go from there? They should have just saved that till much later on. They could have just made like Super Saiyan canon. I and, like, I just love okay forms. yeah. Another one's Toa Drama. Not do an HBO Max or something like that. Don't do it on Cartoon Network because. Toe drama well, is just intense. Can be cool. No, but okay, their 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 leadership has changed, and their Cartoon like demographics have went from eight year olds cool to toddlers. Like I don't know what's on Cartoon Network now, but I'm pretty sure like some of the classics are somewhere. No, this no. I don't know what you're talking about. Classics. Well, well Teen Titans Go is a classic now. Because you see no, the, they see their lineup just oh. like two shows the whole day. Things. Gumball oh, ended. Cartoon Network can be. Okay. It just depends on oh, what Cartoon again Network the was show good. itself. It's on what the show itself is meant for. Okay, whatever. If it's meant for marketing and well, for kids, Steven Universe that's still why there. Pokemon's the issue. Pokemon's such a big name, and yet they still only do it for marketing. All right. Well, we're just gonna wrap this up. I really have to go. I really have to go. We're just gonna wrap this up. We're just gonna wrap this up. Like Dragon Ball. We're just gonna wrap this up. For not marketing, but it is All right. for just... No, he's going to skip on talking. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, be sure to drop a like. We're going to do more podcasts right. weekly. I might get chat or well, this guy. I don't know when. Um, I don't really like doing podcasts with this guy because he little... keeps on talking sometimes. Master Roshi's see. a little built Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys like the video. Be sure to drop a like if you want more. And I really have to go right now. I'll see you in my Piccolo's next video. Really cool. I like Piccolo. Peace. Piccolo's great. Pickle's cool. He's green.